Wistia just earned its first Webby Award. This week, we explore why winning the internet's highest honor represents a victory not just for Wistia, but for all marketers who use video to grow their brands. Stick around to find out. Welcome to Marketing is Broken, the weekly web series where we show marketers how to get the biggest bang for your marketing buck. Wistia has just won its first Webby Award. The Boston-based web video hosting platform has been a champion of video marketing since 2008, and now they've officially been recognized as the People's Voice winner for Best Branded Entertainment Video Series for their 1 10 100 original series. Now, you might be thinking, one, what's a Webby? Two, what's a Wistia? And three, why should I care? Well, first, if you've never heard of the Webbies, it's only the highest honor on the web. Known as the Oscars of the internet, the Webbies have been around since I was old enough to drive. That's 1996 for all you trivia buffs out there. Award winners in the past include a variety of household names ranging from Google to Facebook, and of course, Minnesota legend Prince. Yay, Yay! Minnesota! Number two, what's a Wistia? Wistia is a video hosting platform that helps businesses and individuals host, promote, and analyze all of their video marketing efforts. Instead of using basic video platforms like YouTube, many entrepreneurs and organizations have been turning to Wistia to help them maximize their return on video marketing efforts. And finally, number three, why should I care? This is probably the most important question to ask because it represents a huge opportunity for all marketers. Wistia's value prop since its founding has been that every company should be able to use video marketing to build its brand. And now, despite facing competition from brands such as Lenovo, who boasts more than 40 billion a year in revenue, and Uber, one of Silicon Valley's most aggressive unicorn startups, Wistia has essentially become proof of its own mission. No matter who you are, no matter your brand, you too can use video marketing to level the marketing playing field, whether you have $1,000, $10,000, or $100,000. We wanted to know more about Wistia's video marketing secrets, so we sat down with Chris Savage, the company's CEO and co-founder, to ask him about video's role in building today's standout brands. Congratulations on the Webby. So how does it feel to be considered alongside brands like Uber and Lenovo for the sport? Um, it's awesome. I mean, when we decided to do 110, 100, we did not think, even conceive of like um, getting a Webby and the fact that it won for like the best in the category of enter branded entertainment is really exciting um, up against some, some good competitors. So yeah, it's 110, 100 has been a, the, a campaign and a gift that, that keeps giving. That's fantastic. And the takeaway for both the 110, 100 campaign and also your 2018 blog post about the decision to keep Wistia private and not, not uh, sell it was to invest in creativity. Uh, why is that so important to you? Um, I think I'm the type of person and my co-founder, Brendan, that like we're just fueled by trying to come up with creative solutions to problems. That's what is fun about running a business. And um, so we realize like that, that is what we look for. That is what we would do. Like if we weren't doing Wistia, we'd go try to solve other other creative problems and try to like exercise those creative muscles. And so um, the buyback set us up to do that and got us into a place where we're profitable enough to, to make some, take some bigger risks. And um, yeah, at, like one time 100 is the first big one and, and there's more coming, which we're excited about. Yeah, that's very exciting. It's certainly paid off. And on that topic, so podcasts are really hot right now, but we think video series really represent this next frontier in branded content. So what video marketing trends do you think people should be paying? I think you're right on the money that video series is the next major thing. Um, podcasting is helping people, helping you connect with people during commutes and on workouts and this whole time they wouldn't even realize that you could, you can make content that's of high enough quality that people actually listen to your podcast instead of listening to music. And music, we know where music comes from, like it's mainstream media. So that's pretty remarkable. And I think what's, what we're seeing now is that um, as people are, is, as video production is being more democratized, more people in house are figuring out how to make great content. It's the next logical step that companies would actually start to make video series. And um, 
give people, if you can, if you can figure out a way to make the content that's like specific and focused enough for your audience, you can actually make something that is more compelling than the mainstream media options. And, um, that means that you can, you can build a brand in a totally different way. That's great. And last question, how will video platforms like Wistia help facilitate the option of new formats like live streaming, vertical video and augmented or even virtual reality? That's a great question. Um, I think you're going to see the platform is doing different things based on kind of like how their customer base is skew. Um, and so some have gone into live streaming already and pushing harder on that because that's something that the enterprise wants right now. Um, but the average SMB is like happy with like Facebook live and things like that has been our experience and zoom. Um, and then you're going to see, I think what we're going to see is when people like augmented reality is going to become more viable when we see it embedded more deeply into glasses. Um, right. And I don't know when that's going to happen, but I think as that happens, it's giant files that people are moving around and they want to understand what's happening with them. And you can, you can bet that most of the video platforms are going to try to jump into that and, and help out. Chris Savage, thank you so much for your time and congrats again on the Webby. Hey man, thanks for having me. Congratulations also goes to Chris Levine, Dan Mills, Trevor Holmes, and all the folks at Sandwich Video on your Webby win. How are you using video to stand out with your marketing efforts? Will video become the backbone of your content strategy in the 2020s? Or is it just one more medium to consider as part of a healthy marketing mix? Share your thoughts with a comment and you might just win yourself some new Brandish Insights gear. We'll see you next time. Hey, it's Josh from Brandish Insights. Thank you for watching Marketing is Broken. If you like this week's episode, please click below to subscribe or check out other episodes. And if your company could use more insights around your branding efforts, check out brandishinsights.com.